Hello there. I'm History of the Flash. You can call me JD. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm Hunter. <laughs> you son of asshole. You uh, knew that I wasn't ready. Yeah, I just hit record. We've been talking for way too long, and I'm like, I'm making case of Diaz, and this yeah. is the hero story, episode one, seven, six. Hey, um, wow. No, no, no. This is the first episode of the new A Hero Story spin off show, isn't it? Like JB oh, or something. It's written by Chip Zdarsky. We're just going back to number one, right? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's that's it. Good. Welcome okay. to episode one of A Hero Story. We, we, uh, we watched JD <laughs> cook. What are you making? No, we got to act like it's actually the first. Like, hey, guys. Um, uh, welcome uh, to A Hero uh, Story uh, episode uh, one. Uh, uh, we uh, talk uh, about. <laughs> So on, on this episode, we're going to be talking about, um, <laughs> uh, uh, we'll, we'll try to keep every episode of 30 minutes. Uh, we, we oh my God. That. That's brilliant. We're, Boy, we're I hope you guys are going to talk about heroes in crisis issue eight. Oh, you. <laughs> so the doomsday clock finale is coming out and we're going to finally find <laughs> out why comedian is involved in the story. Oh my God. That's the first mention of me on this podcast was when the, the doomsday clock thing happened. And, and JD was like, oh, I know this guy on Instagram, Harper. And he pointed this out. You can see Flash there has a ponytail. That's Irie. <laughs> I remember that was, that. That was the greatest moment of your life. I don't even want yeah. to know that. When that, when that happened, I was listening to it in the car and I was like, yeah, you said my name. And now I'm like here every week and I fucking hate it. <laughs> I mean, now, I now you're here. <laughs> yeah. It's just us this week. Um, Tyler was sent off. And Sean is sent off to the other team, so they're against each other. He's on Task Force Z. <laughs> <That's mean. laughs> yeah. Tyler's been sent to take out Task Force Z. <laughs> Sean is on that team. So, oh, I haven't. That's okay. So for comics this week, um, Task Force Z is the one I didn't read. So maybe I'll just read it on the show. I don't care. <laughs> A dramatic reading of Task Force Z. Iron Man number 16, Thor number 21. Oh, I did Flash read it. I said I was 778. You can read it now too. Robin number 10, Devil's Reign number 3, Amazing Spider-Man 87, Once of Future number 24. I read a lot of books this week. You read Once of Future? You read Once of Future in a single issue? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, because I caught up and I'm like, this is really good. I want to continue. Holy shit. And so Jeremy. At Comic Drum on Instagram was like, just get in a single issue, man. It's very good. And I could have someone to talk to about it. So I'm like, okay. You told me to do the same. I said, uh, I'm a trade waiter. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. You, what do you read now, JD? What what series do you read? Yeah, what Daredevil, do you read? Nightwing, Flash. <laughs> I thought you said <laughs> Red Hulk. <laughs> I thought the first thing you said was Red Hulk. And I was like, what? <laughs> I went back to 2008 and read the Red Hulk series. What was the last one you said? Daredevil, Batman, Flash, Nightwing, Robin. Oh, okay. okay. So, so, so Daredevil, and then like just Batman mainly characters. Bat family. Yeah. Daredevil, Daredevil, Nightwing, and Joshua Williamson. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You read Deathstroke and Black Canary? Oh, good God, no. Justice League Incarnated. Whatever else he's writing right now, he's writing a That's lot. The Justice League. Hmm. Uh, so right. Uh, usually we do news and comics. This week we don't have a plan, so I'm gonna read the news that I remember to write. Well, sorry, that JD remembered to write down, and that's about it. Uh, hey. first, well, you're the one who told me like, oh, here's news. Um, Daredevil, the comic is starting again. Back to issue one. He's gonna wear the yellow suit again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Well, I've actually, I would actually be okay. I'm a big. I'd be okay with that. No, he's keeping this modern suit with the baggy pants, which I like. I like that. Oh, suit. I think that's the best one. I think I honestly think that's the best one. That is the best piece of inspiration they took from the TV show. Was I making think, it like a mm-hmm. proper outfit instead of just skin tight. I think that this suit will stick around forever. I hope so. Like, I it's so can't yeah. See them changing I, it. I genuinely think it's the best Daredevil has ever looked. It's just it's it's so cool and it's too close to the like main look that going back to that original suit would be like okay why yeah it's not that big like like you yeah. just read in in soul's daredevil when he goes from the black back to the red you're like oh there you go we're we're fully back in it but if you just went from reason, red back to the red it's not that interesting so again is there a reason why he gets the black suit in soul or no Ah, uh, he's just depressed. <laughs> yeah, it's just dark. <laughs> they wanted to make it dark. And Spider-Man gritty. even points out. He's just like, ah, I see you're in your dark suit era. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, you got to the Spider-Man crossover. That's pretty early on. 
It's very good, though. It is very good. It's very, it's very, very good. good. It feels kind of odd that Spider-Man was just willing to go to Hong Kong. Go, for yeah, go day. on a trip with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought the same <laughs> like, thing. I he had nothing going on that he was like, yeah, I'll go to Hong Kong on a mission that I know nothing about. <laughs> I thought the execs. Because even when they're in, so for those who don't know, Daredevil needs to get the suitcase from a guy in Hong Kong and he asks Spider-Man to help, but he doesn't tell Spider-Man what he needs help with until yeah. they're in the city. <laughs> So it's like you think Peter would ask like before leaving. Can I New have York, some clarification before we go across the the world <laughs> <laughs> to go fight a guy that we don't know why? Like he doesn't know why. So, but it's still a really good story. So Peter was basically just like, "Stop right there, I'm in." Essentially, yeah. It's got a really wholesome moment with a Daredevil actually like enjoying life on a boat. <laughs> uh, that that that'll slowly be uh that that'll slowly be the tragedy if I know Daredevil. It's it's yes. uh because they're on like a really high speed boat and Spider Man gets his webs out and he like basically hang glides. Mm. He's like, oh, this is so much fun! You have to try it. And Daredevil just goes like, hm. and then grabs his like Billy stick and puts it like ties it around part of the boat and does the same thing and starts laughing with Peter. It's very wholesome. And then, Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me? I'm not. That actually happened. I just, I just, I no, I just, I just, I was just flicking through Iron Man 16, and that's the villain we've got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what we're doing. I've been are waiting you, for you. Are you fucking see kidding that? me? That's the main really, villain. Really, really. Big what wheel. Are we, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Mm -hmm. It's big wheel. Big Wheel's the villain in this week's Iron Man issue. Big Wheel's only relevancy was being a meme for a while that got very unfunny very quickly. Because it was like <laughs> ev everyone like two years ago would be like, the best Spider-Man villain, Big Wheel. And I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Kinda like, it's and then like we kind of got over that. Like that joke was funny for like five minutes and then it was like, all right, hell yeah. I do yeah, think that's it. his reasoning in the issue is kind of funny. Well, we'll get to it. Uh... <sighs> Other news this week, um, there's an interview out with all three actors playing Spider-Man, talking about Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire brings back We're the mannequin it. challenge in it. And <laughs> yes, he does. He's, he's definitely a lizard with like human skin like pulled over him. <laughs> he does not move. <laughs> so he you talks. see at one point his eyes close this way. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a lizard. His tongue comes out to lick his eye. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so weird, yeah. He's very still in it. And he also It was like, what if all the Spider-Man actors were Mark Zuckerberg at that like court hearing? That's what that video was. Yeah, it, it's very it's a good video, but Toby McGuire's definitely on. Like, I'll be ask me a question, I'll be Toby. Uh Toby, what was it like putting on the suit again? Well, um well you see, uh hard to make put into words, but um <laughs> coming back was uh I wouldn't say it's, you know, he talks like that. Like, like <laughs> yeah. he doesn't know what to say. The, you know what the best part of the entire interview is, is Toby Maguire's like, oh, and then like, you know, I saw what, uh, you know, Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal were saying. Um, and it, it like, it really connected with me. And Tom goes like, yeah, but it's funny with Amy. You never quite know what she's saying. And then Toby's <laughs> like, yeah. And they're like, it, they're all like in agreement that she's a little bit weird. <laughs> that was so funny. Did you ever see the story that like, she, like when, I think it was like when they brought up either the idea of No Way Home or when they like brought up the idea of Spider Man in the MCU, she threw a sandwich at someone. Have you ever seen yeah. that? Yeah, I saw that. Kevin she Feige. She wasn't even eating it. She just had a sandwich. <laughs> just holding it. Well, Kevin Feige, when approached her after the I mean, Spider Man 2 wasn't doing it's so Kevin good. Kevin Seagy. Sorry, Kevin Seagy. And he was just <laughs> yeah. like, uh, hey, can we put Spider Man in the MCU? And he went on her lunch break and she threw her food at him. And told that, him that's him. what it was. Yeah. yeah, it's what? like, yeah. What is, what is she? What crack is she on? Remember She's probably got like a far... severe mental illness. And I've just, <laughs> and I'm just from home like... came out and she's just like, yep, Venom is in the MCU. And Kevin Feige is like, like... saying next to her. <laughs> she's so like stressed. <laughs> but she was right in the end. She was technically right. She, she wasn't actually. Well, she was. Well, she was right for about for like thirty seconds. I She's still right. I probably still despise that scene with Tom Hardy at the end. Like, why? We are why? drunk. I remember and looking at my are. girlfriend waiting for the credits. She's like, "Oh, I wonder what the end credits will be." I'm like, "It's probably Tom Hardy." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were all living. Movie's in over. <laughs> <laughs> like it is. At least Anyways, got this much um, I'm gonna go Dr. Michael Morbius. 
Oh I keep God. wanting to introduce myself on the show as that, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> Every week for the last two months, you've been like, Literally. and I'm hunting. Oh, fuck. I'm fucking Michael Morbius. I damn. am Venom. I hate how he says that. <laughs> <laughs> what, are we, uh, what is Sony doing? Anyway. Yeah, uh, that's the oh, news of the week. <laughs> that's it? That's oh, news of the down. week. Yeah. Surely something else happened recently. Charlotte. Was anyone cast in something? Uh, maybe. Oh, the, right oh, down. okay. Here's some news that's depressing. The one of the like main actors in Moon Knight fucking died. Did you see that? Yeah, that was a few weeks ago. That's tragic, yeah. man. It was ski apparently accident. like a skiing accident. It wasn't a few weeks ago, wasn't it? Like last week. It was like a week ago. It was like yeah. two weeks ago, I thought. It was like two yeah. days after the trailer dropped. Oh well, okay. That was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's just stuck in my mind because I'm like, Jesus Christ! Yeah, like that probably would have been a. Actually, I remember. I remember seeing it and being like, "What has he been in?" And he was in that Hannibal like uh, origin movie where it's like Hannibal Lecter, but in his young days during the war. Oh yeah, not yeah, a, yeah. Not a very good movie, but he was okay in it, so that's something. But yeah, that was sad. Hmm. Who else Jeez. has died? Yeah, I guess we'll talk about death for a bit. Yeah, Memento what about Mori? death and the constant, the inevitability Harper? of infinite blackness? Yeah. Memento Mori? Illuminatus. Oh, you got it. You got the <laughs> reference. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if you would. <laughs> of course I would. Yeah, that, that's, that's a good reference, JD. Don't you agree? Fuck. Oh, I, fuck. I literally have no idea what we're talking about. JD's literally oh. only read one Marvel comic. It's true. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Name that one Marvel comic. Uh, Spider-Man meets Archie. <laughs> I don't know. Fear itself. No. Imagine if, that, imagine if that's what that was from. That's Here. like it's not a reference that takes a lot to know. Like you don't need to know a lot of history there, but it's just a very pointed reference. And that's why when I sent it to you, I was like, look at this. this did. Oh, that's so cute. Harry Task Force Zero or something. Oh god. All right. What what, what are comic books? Uh, so Task Force Z, I'm going to stop reading it now because the first page is Red Hood talking to Foo Face and he calls him Crispin. So, All right, well, it's... <laughs> that's Task Force Z. <laughs> that's if, that's if our review that. of Task Force Z. He calls him why Crispin. Is, why is this title on your, on your poll list? Like, it's not why? anymore. Because <laughs> uh, I don't know. I thought the first issue was pretty good. Uh, on, on the DC solicitations, because they came out the day after we recorded, uh, there's going to be a Batman, Batman Catwoman special, like Christmas type special. I thought that was announced a while ago. No, wasn't that on the most recent solicitation? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I, I got the solicitation again, but I thought that was. You are JD. That's a very real possibility. It's it's you know I'm I'm kind of out of it. Sp- <laughs> Spider Man. Not pretty good. Spider Man was actually great this week. It was. It's Is a Peter good... back? Yep, he's back. The whole book was Is about he? Peter. It was about oh. Captain America and Black Cat training him. A strange oh. pair up. Can you, put that black, can you put that black cat panel closer to the camera, yep. please? It's not bad, is it? Yeah, well, who's the artist that does this? Because <laughs> he draw. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Carlos Gomez. Great artist. Mm. He does draw women, though. Did you say he draws women? <laughs> yeah, he, like, here's Mary Jane at one point. Oh, it's... Yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah J. Scott, J. Scott Campbell. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like another Frank Joe. Ah, uh, yeah. Rancho is fucking weird on Instagram. Yeah, he is. Follow, I don't follow him, but the Hero Story account follows him. And one day yeah. like, I went in to check a message, and, and his was the top post, and I was like, "What the?" Fuck? And you just see like a bit. You see like a bare ass, like bent over. Yeah, and you're just like, like, okay, well, like, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah. And in the background, it's like a thing, like yeah, New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's clobbering. <and> done. <laughs> like it's. it's fuck very yeah. Odd. Well, it's, anyway. it's very strange. Um, there's a scene in Spider-Man where Cap and Black Cat they go to a bar and everybody's just staring at them. And Black Cat and Captain America are just like they're staring at you. And Cap's like, no, they're staring at you. It's very odd. That <laughs> that's <laughs> almost a funny interaction, but the way you describe that made it sound so weird. Yeah, it's a little odd. Uh Peter wears the bagman outfit with a paper bag over his head, which I thought was fun. And he needed a t-shirt, so Black Cat gave him one that was uh, in her car, right. and it's the I'm Not Daredevil shirt. So yeah, I thought that that's, was that's Mark fun. Because they fucked. Yeah, yeah. Well, in, Mark, in Mark Wade's run, they did. Yeah. This is my, this is my super villain origin. 
Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's right. You know, the, the funny thing about that panel, right? So uh, Daredevil and Black Hat are like making out on top of a roof and Spider-Man can see it like in the distance and he's like, this is my super villain origin. Matt can fucking hear that. Yeah, he can, yeah, he can. <laughs> yeah, he can. Yeah, I felt the same thing. I saw that panel, I was like, Matt heard that and was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it even harder. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm lean in more. <laughs> God, that's, that's a good point. Oh, that, I didn't think of that. That's so good. Uh, but yeah, this whole issue is just them training Peter again. And they're just like, you, you're in the suit when you get better. But he never gets better at the end. He still like, this kind of sucks. So <laughs> this might take a bit. But it's good. Like, uh, Cap trains oh. him to fight. Black Cat trains him to swing. And then they both dress as robbers and like, take us down. And he doesn't. But yeah, it's, it's, it's an entertaining book. It's, it's good art. It's good fight scenes. And did you see the Batman Beyond title that was announced? No. It's called Batman Beyond Neo Year. I don't know why they just like it, it's gonna be written by Tom. I mean not Tom King, fucking uh what the fuck's his name? Tom King. They, they Tom Taylor. Up, not Tom King. Uh, I don't even remember now. They Tom messed up Hanks? the solicitation so it doesn't follow Tom the Cruise. picture of Tom Hiddleston. Tom Cruise is Iron Man. It's not a Tom! <laughs> hey, I'm Tom Hardy. <laughs> So Tom uh, Holland is writing Batman Beyond. Hello, two? it's me, Tom Holland. <laughs> oh fuck! Sorry, man. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Kitty looks stressed. Uh, Robin was was a book that I dropped, but I read this issue. <laughs> um, well, you're dropping a lot of books, homie. Ah, uh, money, deal? money. Ah, I'm like, with wow, you. I'm reading like 20 series. I should maybe stop. Yeah, you absolutely should yeah uh so it's about robin finding out that the person that did the tournament the lazarus tournament was his grandmother who Rajal ghoul is like forcing to come back to life they tease the demon i guess in the bottom of each lazarus pit there's like a guy down there swimming around that's like a demon and that's gonna be the villain for the batman robin crossover this year the shadow war yeah so it's a it's like a green demon that lives in the lazarus pit so okay that's you know uh flash happened but jd why do you like flash i don't like it right now i, I think the current <laughs> arc isn't the strongest but i think the issues before that were good it's it's kind of boring to me it's just it's just so weird i'm like wally it's wally west has taken back the title it's his mm -hmm. book and i have given the least amount of shit about flash in probably the longest time you know what i mean mm -hmm. same uh, this is the uh, uh, it was actually it was honestly the end of Williams. I still have not read that fucking arc between Williamson and this. I still have not read it. Kevin Williamson Jenny ended so well. I just like after Williamson, I kind of went, well, that was, that was kind of it. Like he threw everything in there and I'm kind of like, everyone oh, back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, we'll yeah, see, man. The thing is, he brought everyone back and then they just like haven't appeared. Yeah. I said that in a group chat. I was like, man, he really brought back inertia just for inertia to be like, Hey, I'm inertia. And then to do nothing with it. Yeah. Just to show people he's there, he's there. He exists. I mean, like Jesse quick is back and like Max Mercury is back. And it's just like, yeah. are they though? Like yeah, I was getting so excited for flash every single week and like actually being shocked by the story. Like when Godspeed dies, that, that blew my mind. Yeah. And then and you get to this and it's about like, Irie is skipping class. I'm like, I, I don't care. <laughs> like the supporting <laughs> cast for the Flash book is is like the other Flashes. You know what I mean? Like right. this is very that's, narrow. That's what, There's that's no. Each one does the right thing of you know the supporting cast is all like characters who could have a story on their own. Yeah, it's like so we they're all together. You're like, okay, this is. I, I do like how the uh, writes while these kids though i mean like i feel like they've never actually done anything but now he's actually giving them like purpose so yeah i mean that's fair <clears throat> it's good development i like how jay's like has a journal that he's writing in and i'm just surprised that like you dropped it like from just like an arc uh time, it's just i can't see it getting I, I looked at the solicitations for what's to come and i'm like i i just don't care i will um <laughs> as the cool kids say trade weight <laughs> yeah but trade weight is code for i'm never gonna read it for you <laughs> oh, you oh, the truth trade comes weight out. A lot. <laughs> yeah no i'm actually gonna read it i actually do trade weight or read it digital that's the great okay. thing about marvel limited Dude, this, I wish marvel this is limited the flash was, though I, I literally plug it to everyone <laughs> we're talking Can't about the flash, the flash on marvel unlimited <laughs> <laughs> i was talking about the trade weight conversation you moron <laughs> Oh, I guess, yeah. Stupid idiot. Yeah. How is it? 
Not bad. Was it worth ruining a podcast <laughs> for? Like, ruining? <laughs> it's not ruining. <laughs> but it's just not bad. It's, it's okay. It's, you, know. you were so hyped. You were like, yeah, you're like, this is it. Dia, I got the ground beef. And... Yeah. And now, beef. like, it's just fine. You, you, fine. you said you spilt food for an okay food. I mean, like, like, it's not like a restaurant made it. Like, I made it. You know, it's, Possible. <laughs> You're just not okay with what you made. You're like, oh, yeah. Damn it. It's weird being an adult it's... now. I cook my own meals. I don't know. I don't vibe with it. I ordered a quesadilla for lunch today, actually, and it was great. I bet, I bet it was more than just okay. Yeah, it was, it was fantastic. I love. Did you it. actually? Yeah, I did. What have I eaten? To- I haven't eaten today. <laughs> oh right, I forgot you don't eat okay. anymore. No, we can't. We can't in Australia. <laughs> Yeah, it's just banned. No, you can no longer eat. You can drink, but only on Wednesdays. And, only and it's long. only beer. Yeah, only when you go pick up your car. Let's talk about either Devil's Reign or Death of Doctor Strange. Talk you can talk death of Doctor Strange. Do I need to catch up? Is it worth the hype? Is what worth the hype? Devil's Reign. I guess we'll yeah, talk I mean, about it's Devil's good. Reign. It's a good book. Yeah, we'll do Devil's Reign first. Harper, I, I read this before Harper for the first time in forever. That's a frozen reference. Oh, that was so funny. You put on your story, you're like, I got tomorrow's comics a day early. And I was like, you got them like four hours early. Like, they come out tonight. I know the timing is different for you, but for me, they come out like the afternoon. So you're like, I got them a day early. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, yes, I read it and I'm like, Harper's not going to like this ending. And as soon as he, he finished, he sent yeah. me a picture of the ending. being like, oh, no. Yeah, I sent him the picture, like the last panel, and then I sent the the Michael Scott office meme where he's just like, "Don't, <laughs> don't what do happens? this to me." Uh, I guess yeah, just jump straight to the ending. Foggy's spoilers, just, spoilers, spoilers. Foggy Nelson is just like another day. Should probably get some sleep, and he walks into his office and gets beaten, <laughs> like by yeah, a crowbar. We, we may, yeah, he's probably not dead. Like they're not going to no, kill but Foggy, it, but I was like, no, don't, not the Foggy. <laughs> But the, it fades to red, and the, the thug in there says, you and your lady lawyer are real loud, yeah? Our bosses don't like that. Thinks it's better off you never talking again. And then, never talking again? Is he going to be mute? The man did not survive cancer to be beaten with a fucking lead pipe. Don't do this. Is it a lead pipe? No, it's more of a crowbar. It's a crowbar. Oh my Whatever. god, he's going to be a... Jason. He's going to come back as red. <laughs> <laughs> Follow, follow Foggy Nelson's journey in Task Force C. <laughs> I tell you what, though, this issue was very validating after, like, the first couple being like, is this, like, is Chip Zdarsky just, like, sort of writing very generic whatever Tony Stark where he's like, I'm an asshole even though we're in, like, desperate peril and then we get to this issue and it's not Tony Stark. It's, it's Luke Cage. I prefer that, honestly. It's not it's not Luke Cage, that's not what I meant. What are you talking about? The chameleon. Oh, oh, that that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it, not, it's, it hasn't been Tony Stark. The whole Tony does Stark he running. I was like, wait, Luke Cage was in the Iron Man armor? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> like, no. no, chameleon was. <laughs> no, they, yeah, yeah, so where is Tony? I don't know. Well, maybe he's like, maybe this is set when he's no, because he just came back to Earth in the God armor. I don't know. It's weird. But like the, the idea that this has been Dr. Octopus's planned and that, you know, it wasn't actually Tony Stark wanting to run for mayor is, it's interesting. I like that. Yeah, Although it, it just really seems, is. it's weird that half of this story is, <clears throat> is more Dr. Octopus versus the Kingpin. Yeah. Daredevil wasn't That's, in this very much. No, he, he wasn't in the last issue much either. He barely spoke in the last issue. It's, it's ben more. Ben Riley's been in both issues more. Yeah, God, he's getting quite a bit. Oh, it's so <laughs> obvious it was meant to be Peter, though. My yeah, God. especially it's this so, issue. Oh, yeah, when you guys so put the panels in the chat. Oh, but this issue here, like, he's, a, he's being yeah, held by police. Yeah, it's even worse. Like, because like, and... this is the, the thing in the Human Torch, like, break him out of, like, the police station, and they're just like, yeah, you know, he, he might have a, you know, a smart mouth, and he might talk a lot, but he's our friend. I was like, do you even fucking know him? Like... <laughs> Like, and the mask is off too so you know what's better yeah, you it's see the blonde not, hair it's so weird i don't get it yeah it, it's, like, it was totally d- like the peter 
I wish it was mm. Peter. I wish they could have just said like, yeah, this is takes place after just the make it, story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or just set it before. Like it's not. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It should have been Peter, 100%. Uh, but I guess then we see the unmasking for a bit. So because he was unmasked for quite some time. Uh, Purple Man still wearing all clothes, I see. Um, yes. Purple children are in our clothes. Thank God. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm just flipping through right now. That was a, that was that was very well set up and then executed. <laughs> like, <laughs> as, as soon as I start talking, my mind's like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> no, but the fact that you went, thank God, like, <laughs> like it was ever a question that that was going to be the opposite way. <laughs> But yeah, uh, the Iron hell. Man's revealed that it's Chameleon the whole time, which I, when he was just like, they're fighting like Dr. Octopus's team, and he's like, no, no, no we made a deal. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, is, is Sadarsky writing Stark like terribly here? Oh, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, but no, it's Chameleon, so it makes Yeah, sense. thank God. And uh, Daredevil wanted to capture Fisk, but the other Avengers were like, nah, man, we gotta run. And that's kind of where it ends. Still very yeah. good, though. It's it's interesting. Like Matt's just like I'm gonna go like just you know straight into it. Let's just like kick his ass and get him out. And yeah, it, it doesn't work obviously because like that's not that's never gonna work. And Matt should know that because anytime he's beaten the kingpin, he has not just beaten him through brute force except for Bendis. But like most <laughs> of the time, it's a. I, I just remember that now. one. I just remember that one example where he definitely beat the kingpin by just beating him up and then going, "It's me now, baby." But anyway, that was such a great. Literally, it's it's like it's it's planning. It's meticulous. He he's moving the chess pieces to undermine the kingpin to make the kingpin fall. But this is is him just being like, "What if I? What if we go in and punch him?" Although it's interesting, <laughs> they're incorporating all the purple man stuff. Like that's. Because if Fisk gets that power, they're fucked. And the fact that he's looking for the Purple Man's children, it's like, oh shit! Like if he got that, you can see where the the peril would come from. Yeah, and now they know too. Because Purple Man's like, oh yeah, my kids are probably involved in this. They changed my mind. Yeah, I think they changed the world's mind. I thought Purple Man. I guess he was unconscious when that happened. But yeah. Uh, I I read I read Thor I'll quickly to say it's very very good. And Mjolnir is beating up the God of Thunder, which is quite entertaining in a way. You can actually talk about the issue, Hunter. It's okay. Look, you cool fight scenes. <laughs> <laughs> cool, the, the hammer fights Thor, and it's really cool. And Thor goes to punch the hammer, and his arm just snaps. Like the bone just Who is writing out. that series? Who's writing? Oh, Who, it's You Donny know Kay. this, yeah. It's Donny Cates, right? Yeah. Because the, the hammer is the most important thing and it's alive. Yeah, <laughs> the hammer is alive. And Ty- so, Tyler in the group chat recently said, like, he wanted to read a Batman comic that wasn't just Batman punches a guy. Meanwhile, Hunter is like, he punches a guy? Dude, fucking. Dude, dude, dude I fucking. Yo, no, Thor, I kind of get that. Thor punched a hammer? I feel yeah. like I've read a lot of stuff recently where it's more, it's more, uh, it's not really about punching people. And now I'm just like, oh, I just want to see some people punch. <laughs> That's why you got to read Thor, man. <laughs> uh, Sif uh, basically teleports the hammer the furthest place in the Marvel Universe. I don't know if this has been shown before. It's just called the farthest place. It looks like this. You recognize that? I've never seen this before. No. Okay. I wonder if that's new. But yeah, teleports were there and then the hammer i would have thought back. the furthest place in the marvel universe would have been a different realm not just like the other side of the galaxy yeah apparently this is it uh yeah. mjolnir comes back and it breaks odin's back and paralyzes him oh, jesus so, christ <laughs> things are happening yeah jesus christ it's not just a regular so like snapped thor's arm in half and broke odin's back and odin immediately goes i can't feel my legs and that's Eric, kind of where the issue ends. Eric, I can't feel my legs. Yeah. <laughs> she just goes balls, sits in a wheelchair. <laughs> uh, then the hammers, Thor's just like, who are you? And well, I, this made me kind of be like, hey, I get it. Uh, the hammer explains like, I'm alive essentially because I was thrown into the sun for a long time with another creature a couple of years back. And you connect the dots. Jane Foster, when she was Thor, did this when she died. Well, when she died, her last thing was she she took the Mangog, which is Thor's doomsday essentially, and put the hammer around and threw it into the sun. 
And so this is the Mangog's basically soul uh, taking over uh, over the hammer and then yeah. giving it personification. Man- yeah, Mangog is a smart doomsday essentially. Yeah. So wait, yeah. so the god it's... the god of hammers was like the big thing that was introduced yeah. like, what, like last issue or two issues ago. Mm. Turns out it's just like an older character. It's an older character soul. Yeah. Because like I think Donnie Kate did this with like some other character where like it was some like big first appearance. It was like selling like crazy, and then it turns out it was just someone who actually appeared way before, and then mm-hmm. like it shot down the issues. And the God of Hammers one was like selling like crazy, like it was it was going for so much, like even for Raw. So that's funny that like it's actually just another character. <laughs> yeah, that, just... that, that's very yeah. <laughs> he is just actively made just blue like, ball. The the, I mean, yeah. Does, yeah. does this count as another kid? Because it's the soul of the man. No. No, so, it doesn't count. No, it's no. What did she say? Let me let me read the exact line. That they if, if it is the soul possessing another object, then it's just that dude. Okay, let's see. I I am a hammer to be worthy of me is to break, to smash, to destroy, and with with your throne. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, Thor died. Okay, well, hell. this isn't the first time I've grown tired of you. Yes, Jane, she threw me into the sun and you left me broken. You left me to burn. But you see, I wasn't alone in the sun. There was something else there, something powerful, and we burned together. And then we were remade as one. Its spirit became entangled with mine, its soul inside of me. And I awoke with a voice with the rage of the billions and billions of beings of the mango. So, not a new character, a new take on an old character. Yeah, that's yeah. how I look at it. It's, yeah, no, it's, no. That's like if the cloak of levitation came back, but it was possessed by Dormammu. I wouldn't be like, "Well, that's that's a new character." Yeah, that's like, fair. That's that's just Dormammu in the cape. <laughs> like, anyway. First appearance of the cape. Yeah, first appearance of whatever the fuck this is supposed to be. Like this weird hybrid. You read uh, Iron Man, Harper? I just skimmed through it and saw a Big Wheel. <laughs> Yeah, so, I did read. The, I read the preview where he lands on Earth, and they're like, "Are you ba- are you a naughty boy?" And he's like, "I'm a good guy. I'm, I'm so well, look at this. How good is this?" And they're all like, mm. <laughs> "That's basically the entire issue." No, that's good. Tony Stark is a god, and so the Avengers of Fantastic Four just like, "Hey man, uh, you good?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'm good." And they all like back up. Cap takes the shield. <laughs> you just like it's it's so funny when you say that. Like you you lose me already. You go okay. So Tony Stark is a god, and I'm like, fuck okay go on <laughs> i like the line where tony goes can you all relax we've all dealt with god before look at thor it's the same vibe and thor says verily tis not yeah i was, yeah, that's in the frame <laughs> yeah. verily, disagree verily, tis not. <laughs> uh so tony decides yeah yeah he grows really large and yells at steve because steve interrupts him <laughs> so mm. there's like yeah, this uh, is bad. also so, that suit is ass I don't like how it has a melt. It looks fucking awful. The only time it ever looked good was that one Alex Ross cover when they first revealed it. No, not that one. It looks whatever there. But that first one he did, where it was him like, ah, I was like, okay, that that's kind of cool. Uh, it looks like shit in the issues though. Like absolute poo-poo. It's just lines. <laughs> it's just, it's just a silver, it's like Silver Surfer if Silver Surfer was like drawn by Rob Liefeld. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's exactly actually. what it is. Uh, so Tony decides I'm gonna gift the world. Well, I'm gonna start by gifting the city. So now everyone in the city will now have Stark level IQ. Oh my god, they're doing this is superior Iron Man again. It's oh, this already thing. happened. <laughs> well, it like silver, like silvery white suit, godlike powers, and he's gonna like give something to like the public so that he kind of has you know good favor but also control over them i mean that's superior i mean yeah and so he's just like so he, everyone's now as smart as me and reed richards and he says i feel dumber <laughs> <laughs> Which that's I thought brilliant. Was funny. that is brilliant that's and excellent <laughs> then it cuts the people around the city like solving problems like uh there's a guy working on a car and he can't figure it out and then suddenly he makes it better and there's a couple arguing that suddenly they'd be like wait there's no point in this because life is beyond us and Wait, 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 wait. How is the intellect of Tony Stark going to influence people to make better decisions? It's Tony I Stark. Know. I don't know. John, the dude the makes issue terrible of... decisions. Like, do you have the he issue? Went off, he went off planet and drank like with a bunch of like dwarfs in the middle of like an apocalypse. Like, 
dude is not a gene. Like he's not a good decision maker. At least well, in modern times, he's not. Do you have the issue? Yeah. There's a, there's a page where a couple argues and they make up. Do you want to be the couple? Yes, <laughs> sure. Let me. Let me find it's the page. It looks like this here. Yeah. All right. Yep. <clears throat> you want to be the man or the woman? I'll be. I'll be. I'll be the woman. Okay. I'm not right. gonna act this out because I do not want to be insensitive. <laughs> no, you're gonna act this out. No, no, I'm I'm gonna read it. I'm just not gonna, JD, not gonna apply happened? my acting skills to it. The JD's just dead, so that's he just like leaned really close to the camera, then turned it off. No, oh, that's good. Okay. He's out. Okay, you ready? Oh, I just yeah. got an amber alert. Ooh. <laughs> Great. Okay, go on. Read the Oh, thing. sorry. <laughs> like, okay. Uh for crying out loud, Luis. I just want to watch the ball game. Like I'm stopping you, Carl. All I'm asking for is a little help when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to the damn dishes. No one's asked you to cook every night. We can order in, you know. <laughs> like how you slipped into like Mark Ruffalo, Tom yeah, Hardy. I'm, I'm... And how are we going to pay for that, huh? What exactly are your financial priorities? Harper's playing a woman, by the way. Yes. <laughs> are you designing to quit? Or are you denying to question my iconic latitude, Luis? As if I don't pay close personal attention, my <laughs> personal attention to expert. I started going British there. Expenditures. What are you expending? I started going British and it distracted me. Carl, that's not what I'm actually upset about. I'm more, up, I'm more concerned about how we're failing. We're falling into traditional patriarchal roles. What is this conversation? I oh, know. I got out of it. That's the last thing I desire in our martial dynamic. <laughs> I see you and I respect dynamic. you as a person more than as any flimsy conce- con- conceptualization. conceptualization of a wife, master. No, master, it's just Anakin voice. <laughs> and, and I trust you as an equal partner in regards to, to money and domestic responsibility. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I put too much personal stock into the Mets and see them as some kind of avatar that needs to succeed <laughs> where I feel I might <laughs> fail personally. So about the Mets, maybe. <laughs> I enjoy the sport. I really do. I find it elegant and fascinating. <laughs> That's so silly. What is this? What is this dialogue? That is That's a it. whole page in an Iron Man book. <laughs> <laughs> going on? You want to do the other one? No. <laughs> okay. I don't. Okay. So I'll be the guy with the beard. Yeah, see, the clutch is wearing out. Gonna need to replace that soon, and maybe the gear service, too. Ah, geez. Of course, it could reasonably overhaul the engine that it runs on a pure hydronic fuel system. All I need to do is replace the gasoline line with a carbon-based nano quadrate that atomizes the hydrogen into parcels of energy. Oh, interesting. Okay, but how would you regulate the intake of particles without oxymodal decay? Easy peasy. Just run them through the ion bath pre-chamber. Of course, great idea. But what's all this set me back? Parts and laborers were looking in, at a couple of days in the shop and maybe 600 if I can get my hands on the proper self-generating capacity tubing. No, nah, let's just do the oil change there. I realized, <laughs> yeah, I realized when I read this, I probably, you know, when you read something, but you don't read it. Yeah. You I just think like I did blamed. this here. Yeah. I was just like, yeah. Oh, okay, move on. <laughs> That's kind of funny, though, that he's just like, uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I like that. But Anyways, like, what, yeah. But uh, <sighs> with all these people getting Stark level IQ, it somehow wakes Big Wheel out of a five year coma. No, oh, my. God. And when he wakes up, he immediately has an idea to make a big wheel that can fly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what he does, like, immediately. Excellent. And so Patsy <laughs> has an argument with Tony being like, could big wheel do that before? And Tony's like, nah, he was just a guy in a big wheel. <laughs> so yeah. Patsy's like, <laughs> maybe giving everyone in the city, like, extreme IQ is a bad idea because then stuff will, like this will happen. Yeah. And Tony's like, well, I guess I'll stop it. It's like, what if you're not here? So it's a good argument. <laughs> so. It's just like it's just weird because like superior Iron Man is him 
you know, he makes this extremist 3.0 where it makes people like healthier and smarter and happier and blah, 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 blah. But it's like an app. And if they don't, if they don't like pay the subscription, which is astronomically large, then it, it runs out and then they start decaying and getting older and, and dumber quicker. Yeah. Yeah. So essentially... that's basically what this is. <laughs> it's just, do you see the last page released? Um, I, I, I will find it for you, Hunter. Patsy talks to someone. Oh, okay. As to stop Tony. Oh my god, my phone just fucking froze. Wait, wait just look up. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> no, you. Yeah. Oh boy, are you serious? So Patsy oh. talks to Doctor Doom to go oh, put an end to yes. Tony. Yes. Yes. Oh. I will demote this Iron God back down to an Iron Man one way or another. That is yeah. brilliant. Oh, I'm back in, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Just read the dude. worst dialogue ever between a couple oh. arguing. And then- dude, if, Chris- if Christopher Cantwell told me, like, initially, hey, I'm making Iron Man a god just so we can have him face off with Doom, I would have been, like, on this every week. That's fucking brilliant. Yes. Yes. That's so good. <laughs> Oh, that's made my fucking day. I thought you read that and I was shocked that you were like No, really I literally scrolled it. to like the like there was three pages left and I went, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. And oh, they've been hiding yes. in the covers. They all the covers never mentioned Doom. So that's so fucking good. <gasps> I mean, last oh, time so they happy. saw each other was I guess King and Black, but they were on a yeah, team then, right? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Oh my God. Iron Man and Doom. Yes. <laughs> that has made my day. He lives. Oh, that's so good. I can good. only longer live. What, what happened? I heard you guys arguing with a couple and I was like, oh, well, this seems like where I sign off for a little bit. <laughs> I went to use the bathroom. Nice. Uh, Bro, yeah. fucking Dr. Doom and Tony Dog. Oh, yes. I told Harper because he's just like, I'm done with this series. I'm like, go to the last page. And the last page is Doom being like, all right, I'm going to kill Iron Man, essentially. So now Harper's He's like, back. I'm going to demote this Iron God to an Iron Man. Oh, I can't wait. That's when Harper Dude. thought he was out, they pull him back in. Yeah, they literally I pull know, him and... back in. Oh, I hate it. Oh, how they do that to me? And yeah, that's a... I also read Once in Future, but I don't... It's an indie comic. So I read Death of Doctor Strange, and the one thing I want to oh, talk yeah, about. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about that. It's very good. Well, spoilers for the entire series. Do any <laughs> either of you want to read it? <laughs> I was going on, but that's okay. Oh, really? I was thinking about it, but yeah, go for it. Actually, I I can spoil it without like saying who the killer is. You know, the killer of the story. Okay. Obviously, it's death of Doctor Strange. It's a murder mystery. Um, do you what? Do you care about what happens? Say to the whatever killer? you want. Okay. Anyway. The person who who killed Doctor Strange in previous so the story of this I should probably like start. It was Miles Morales fun. in a vision. I read Civil War. Too, so. <laughs> oh, God, God. <laughs> um, the the whole story of this book is that someone we don't know who murders Doctor Strange, cuts off his hands, and takes like all of his all of his possessions. Um, and then as a fail safe, apparently at some point modern day Dr. Strange, or at least, you know, a, a relatively, you know, uh, not even recent, I guess, cause he's the old one. I guess it would have been an old, like young Dr. Strange made a spell so that if he ever died in the future, younger version of him would come out of time and try to solve his own murder pretty much, but he's only got seven days left on the, on the planet. Are you guys frozen? Sorry, I was talking oh my God, You guys were so fucking still. I was like, oh, wow. Am I just talking to no one? So anyway, young Doctor Strange comes back. He deduces who it is. It's really cool. But the, the whole thing is the person who killed Doctor Strange has <laughs> like taken his hands and sewn them on himself. And he's because he's got Doctor Strange's like powers through his hands. He's like shielded from what? any. That, that's where it comes from. No, it's just because he's trapped, like he's trapped Doctor Strange's soul basically in, in the hands, right? Okay. <laughs> That's weird. So he like all of Doctor Strange, pretty much everything that was Doctor Strange is is contained within the hands now. Um and and this villain has got them. And so like the younger Doctor Strange and all the other Sorcerer Supreme 
cannot cast any like spells of attack or anything. And I was like, how the fuck is this? like, how does this shake out then? <laughs> and the younger Dr. Strange goes, well, I'm, I'm, I've done the one thing that you couldn't have possibly predicted. I've cast a spell of healing of regeneration. And as you would know, um, regeneration only takes a small base and someone's soul to completely like take over. And so the person with the hands of Dr. Strange starts being slowly taken over by Dr. Strange's hands because his soul is in there. And like, they basically kill the villain by transmutating him into Dr. Strange. So it's Jesus. like the modern day one that was just killed. Who's like, what the fuck? And the younger one's like, yeah, you've just taken over like blank's entire body and turned it into yours. So there's not a single, not a single cell of that original villain is left. It's been completely like murdered. Jesus. And like when it happens, Dr. Strange, like the younger Dr. Strange, I'll like read, um, I'll read exactly what it says. Cause it's so good. He's like, um, yeah, this person's like, no, no, you can't do this. You, you can't make me into, this is inhuman, Strange. And Strange goes, I'm a master of black magic, blank. I am I am inhuman when it is required. Perhaps in time, I will grow to be kinder, more merciful. In fact, I believe that I do. But that man, you murdered. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. So younger Doctor Strange doesn't give a fuck. He's like, I'll kill someone. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so good. Yes. Yeah, anyway, okay. <laughs> and then he fucking dies again. So whatever. So is Strange clear. dead in continuity? Yeah. Now? Strange dies three times in this book. So now, but now, get, does he have like a ghost or anything, or is he? Just yeah. Gone? Well, he get, he gets stabbed to death in the first issue. Then the younger version sacrifices himself because he was going to die anyway in this issue. And then regular day Doctor Strange who came back is like talking to Clea, and he's like, you know. I love you. I'm never going to let you go. Blah, 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 blah. But there's one thing I need you to do for me. And he hands her the, the eye of Agamotto and the cloak of levitation. And then he's like, magic always has a price. And he's like, you know, death always collects. And then he like fades into sparkly dust. So he's dead, but he'll definitely be back. Sure. Uh -oh. <laughs> it wasn't like a murder. Ooh, is he going to come back? It was more like a twinkle off into the sunset kind of death. Oh, okay. So like, uh, Kind of like Shrek at the end of Shrek Forever After. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I was like. Thinking. Like, I'm serious. It's not even a joke. <laughs> I don't remember. I oh, okay. Tell you. I could not tell you. Fair enough. If you look up Shrek's death, you'll you'll probably get it. Like, I'm, I'm not serious. going to look up Shrek's death. I'm not. Going to. Okay, I think I okay. see this because when Infinity War like came out, didn't they make him like one of the casualties on YouTube? Like, yeah, because it's a similar thing. Instead of being dusted, funny. he fades into oh, light. You know what it looks like? It looks like um the end of no way home when all the characters sort of blip oh back to okay universes. Yeah. yeah okay <laughs> he does the peace sign like it's, that. yeah it's it's sort of like um, this glowy kind of Hunter, I but i question. just i i i just thought you that part where it. he's like no oh. i just thought that part where he's like perhaps in time i will grow to be like more merciful and better and he just goes but nah not now you murdered that guy so will he be dead for a year like like the justice league <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. Because Jed McKay is now writing uh Strange. Right. Strange, even though it's it's clear as Sorcerer Supreme, which is the best decision they could have made. That's I his don't, love I, interest, right? Yes. I don't so, yeah, think... I'll always love you, except don't look two months ago when I was sleeping with Carol Danvers. <laughs> oh, well, there's actually a reason behind that if you want me to get into it. <laughs> well, hold on, JD, you have a question. I sent a panel to the chat. It looks like it's from this week's Spider Man. Is that an actual panel or, or is that like edited? Because if that's an actual panel, what the oh, fuck? Oh, is it the is it the ass one? Dump truck ass. Yeah, no that that was from a that was from Spider Man Mary Jane Black Cat special. That's a real. That's a that's real. A real panel? That's a real panel. Yeah. Good God. I mean, I wasn't sure if your dump truck ass would fit in one of my suits, but hey, we made it work. Wow. Okay. If these people could write comics, it can't be that hard to break in. You got this, man. It's <laughs> a good point. You got um, this. So I've, I think I've briefly mentioned this story before. Um, in Mark Wade's Doctor Strange, there's a story called Herald, where he's the Herald of Galactus. Galactus gets sent to the mystic realms and is basically going to destroy all of reality. Maybe so Doctor heralds. Strange becomes his Herald and then like goes and sees fucking eternity and he's like eternity can you give me the power to rewrite all of reality 
so that we can stop Galactus from ever entering the Mystic Realms because there's no way to stop him. And then he's like, yes, but then in order, in order to get to that point, um, Strange has to make a deal with Mephisto. And Mephisto's like, fine, I'll help you. But like, you know, you owe me one favor. And Strange is like, fine, I'll owe you one favor. And then eventually he basically rewrites all of reality. Um, and it's just him floating in like a nothing void. It's him and eternity because eternity only exists if there's other life. Um, and then Strange builds all of reality back to the way it was, except if Galactus never entered the Mystic Realms. And then at the end, he goes and um, he goes and sees uh, Mephisto. And Mephisto's like, all right, I want that favor now. And Strange is like, fine, what is it? And Mephisto's like, I want you to make the person who loves you most forget about you. And Strange is like, you fucking dickhead. Didn't you Ooh. just do this shit with Spider-Man? <laughs> Did he actually bring up Spider-Man? No, he didn't. But it's oh, like, okay. it's the same shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Clea, her entire memory of Strange is, is completely erased. And that's why they haven't really been a thing. I mean, they were, they weren't together for a number of years. I mean, when she shows up in in Jason Aaron's Doctor Strange, like you know, they're they're married, but they're not together anymore. And then she falls in love with him again in the, that Mark Wade story, only to have her memories erased. And so after that, I guess Strange is just like, well, I've lost her, and that's why he ends up with with Captain Marvel. But okay. now Clea remembers him and has uh, remembered their sense. love again, and now he's dead. So like, <laughs> ooh, just yeah, he's a, he's a rough week. Sort of. Anyway, for the, for the Spotify listeners, you can just skip probably the last twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> or the entire episode. I I do like when things like that are brought up. So that's why I was asking if Peter was mentioned with Mephisto. No, nah, it wasn't. Unfortunately. I just read the uh, the purple arc in Charles Daredevil where he loses that identity and he actually goes to damon hellstrom and it's just and damon says like yeah uh, mephisto could do it for her. he's actually done it to a, to a superhero before <laughs> yeah. and matt's like i'm it's not like, that desperate <laughs> yeah no, no, no. <laughs> nope peter was <laughs> i like oh, how it was funny. mentioned that mephisto could do it but matt said no because he goes to everyone he goes to dr strange too and dr strange is like no spell yeah like that that's exists. so funny that, that's <laughs> that's only funny in retrospect yeah, because in the end, I mean, the, the strange does it immediately. Well, like, he, he can do it him, casually. He asks him in Bendis, Bendis and Brubaker's run as well. I think Bendis's run, he asks Strange as well. Like, or he brings can't it up. Strange is like, I couldn't do it. No, he can't do it. Does Whereas strange in the MCU, say he couldn't do it or that he can't do it? I don't think he can. I don't think he has. Because, yeah, it. in Soul's run, Strange says it doesn't exist. Like, no spell like that exists. Yeah, no, he doesn't know. Yeah, that's funny because he says to him, because that's the dialogue he says you know i went to strange again i had already asked him once if he could like hide my identity maybe he's learned something in the meantime and strange just says no and he's like he hasn't learned anything in the meantime <laughs> does that mean in like you know if matt's identity gets revealed like next year that like in a few years he'll go back to strange and be like look third time's the charm have you learned anything yet and he's like no. this should be priority maybe not number one but like one but like can you like, <laughs> like help help a friend out like like I'm a celebrity, but I don't want to be. I I'm there's too much money for me. I do think it, it is like I was trying to genuinely think of an example where Strange has like made people forget about an identity. And I, I couldn't out of the last 35 years yeah. of Doctor Strange, I can't think of a single example. The only one I could think of, and I was t talking to Hunter about it, was the clear one. And then I went, no, wait, that was fucking Mephisto. It's always Mephisto. Yeah. He, strange doesn't know it it took so while to get to that like jd are you gonna read souls run pretty quick uh not not right away i'm probably gonna wait a while okay well guess how long it takes to i think i already put it in the chat how long it takes to get to the how his identity is gone yeah but... what it's like 20 issues yeah it's yeah but the story you know, starts but... at 17 but it's revealed at 21 yeah but hunter when you read it at least you read it in a chunk. I was reading it at the time. It took a year and a half, bro. <laughs> yeah, where it's like... Dead, Daredevil Season 2 had, had come out and ended, like, and I was still waiting to be like, so how did the Purple Children do this? Like, <laughs> Yeah, because... We were that far into it. It's like Charles Soul didn't even know what to do. No, like Defenders was coming out, and I was still like, what did the Purple Children do? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess... just pushed it. Th th that's, all, that's all we got folks but how far are we in uh we're like an hour okay 
actually yeah i guess no de- no debate uh no we're about an hour in um we've talked about comics for like the past 40 minutes sean's been in the waiting room for about 10 oh. minutes <laughs> yeah, actually yeah what a dick. So, sorry sean Not what, a man, what a dickhead no harper harper um, harper it's okay yeah. man it's okay why is it okay you're better what's, the, me what's up what's a comp like that's an interesting topic there like uh you know waiting to read tools daredevil like trying to what, what's the one run that you think like you know you've read in trade that you're like i couldn't imagine reading that in single issue like everything i've ever read in trade that i didn't read in single issue that's my answer like anything that i've read in trade after the fact i cannot imagine reading issue to issue it's a good point i, like, I was no, i was I, thinking I just about like perspective like invincible like just the way oh god yeah (laughs) imagine reading that in single issue that would suck i'm kind of glad i'm kind of glad i read like joshua williamson's flash in single issue because i cannot imagine binging that series and being like whoa like running scared and flash war that was so good and then having to churn through like two arcs about the rogues that i don't give a fuck about you know what i mean yeah, Williamson was, very when it was down, but then way up there. Then yeah, down, it was like, the, but like, at least if I was like, when I was reading it issue to issue, I'd like read it and be like, oh, that was okay. But especially when it was like the two weeks, I was like, well, in two weeks, it might be better. And then I read it and be like, okay. and then I miss a couple issues and then I catch up. Like, it was easy to read. I forgot but... DC Rebirth did two weeks for like a year. Oh, that was cr- Why would they do that? <laughs> It's too yeah. much. I don't There's want to read that like much. Five different artists on a book. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it was way Except too much. Except for Flash, which had Carmine D. G. Domenico, whatever the fuck's name is, on yeah. every issue for like forty issues, and I'm like, please get this guy off the book. I really like when, when Barry it. just really stands like there and just lightning storm lightning everywhere. everywhere. Oh, I like that a lot. I, I, I like the biggest it. defender. Everyone loves it. I hate it. I like it when he's running, but when he's just standing there. <laughs> I just like the idea of the Flash just being like so uber powerful that it's just. So there was like that one issue him. where it was like Iris's birthday or something, and Hal, Hal Jordan's there, and yes, he has green scared. lightning. Yeah. Like, okay, why? That's, that's a great issue, though. That's when Eobard attacks Wallace and, and Iris in the house, like breaks it. He's like, You're not even the real Wally West. Oh, shit. Hello? Are you still going? Oh, uh, fuck. yeah, <laughs> for real. Let me in. Uh, Let me in. Like, uh, fucking, oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? God damn it. I, I, I'll never <laughs> fucking idiot. Like, I like that, JD. I honestly like that. Oh man, I never enjoyed his flat. I, I think he had good art in Perfect Storm, like when he was drawing the family all together, but other than that, I was like, eh. Hunter, I, I just went from like that Doctor Doom Iron Man thing being on the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. <laughs> why? Because I joined your fucking jackass? Yes, that's exactly <laughs> why. <laughs> How goes the fight, Sean? How goes the fight? Mm-hmm. What Fight. fight? Uh, I, I revealed before I like, got the start of the episode what, what you were doing. What was uh, that yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. How, how goes it? Weren't you on Blue what? Origin? What? Weren't you on Blue Origin? I literally have no idea what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> it's it's Jeff Bezos' spaceship. <laughs> That's what it's called? Yeah. I didn't even I know that. Up there you, pretty but you're up there with your best friend. <laughs> how, how fucking original was that? <laughs> huh. Earth's a blue planet. The spaceship came from Earth. Let's call it Blue Origin. Blue Origin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, I'll be honest. I only know the name of that because of the Jeff Bezos epic rap battle. <laughs> Do they still make those? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. It seems like they take so long in between seasons to actually they, put something out. Yeah, they do. They they Because they talk about how Jeff Bezos' dad, like, left him and then he goes, now that's a blue origin. And I was like, oh. That's a good line. It is a good line. Like anyway. Are we Where doing the debate? At? Oh yeah, we're doing a debate. <laughs> You're doing a debate now? Yeah. Wait, I thought we weren't doing the debate. Oh, I thought we were. I thought we were. <laughs> you, I'm guessing Civil you guys War. already talked comics and everything? Yeah, we literally yeah. just finished. Yeah, we talked really in depth about Task Force, Force Z, so you don't have to you don't have to bring it up. Right? I, I haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, oh thank that. God. I, I heard from Woo! my son that it was dog water. What'd yeah, you say? baby. What'd you say? I heard from an inside source uh, that may not be named. That it was uh, dog water. I didn't. Oh, what? Task Force Z? I read yeah. one page. 
Oh, you read one? Well, I the last issue ended with them revealing that Two Face is behind the thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where it's gonna go. I mean, we had We're the not cool even moment halfway. Where... Halfway? We're not even halfway through the series. <laughs> it's issue four twelve. Task Force Z is a limited. Yeah. It does it have the one of whatever on there? I thought it was an ongoing. I thought it was just going. I think DC versus vampires. That's the 12 issue. Oh God, this is going to go on forever. Great. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's going to go Red Hood and the Outlaws. We're going to get 40 issues out of this. <laughs> Sean, Sean, Sean. Yeah. No spoilers, obviously. Um, did you read Death of Doctor Strange 5? I haven't, but go ahead and talk about it. We no, no, did. I already <laughs> talked about it. I, I, I already oh, ranted okay. about how cool it I, was, but like, yeah, there's a, there's it a cool was good. thing. Oh, you know, you so... know, I feel like I feel like uh, Hunter and JD, and I, 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 I'm not joking. I think you guys would have liked uh, Mary Jane Black Cat. <laughs> We were, we were just Sean talking about a Mary Jane about Black that. Cat. Uh, yeah, I saw we were the just panel, talking about the panel. Of an ass, and I was like, someone got paid to write that. <laughs> not that part, not that part. But after that... <laughs> the um... part where they show Black Cat. <laughs> That's the part where Sean <laughs> was like, on his comic. No, no, no. What happened um, afterwards, like Black Cat, uh, Mary Jane says something where she goes, oh, it was cool to be the, uh, the bad girl for a night or whatever. And Black Cat gets ups uh, upset. And... She goes, I hate that that's what I am in like Peter's, you know, history, just the bad girl until, you know, Mrs. Wright came along or whatever. And Mary Jane just laughs and Black Cat kind of gets pissed off. She's like, really? I'm like trying to open up to you. And, and then Mary Jane goes, no, because I know how you feel. I was the bad girl because Gwen Stacy, she was perfect. But and then she's like. Have you ever had to live up to the memory of a dead girl? It was like, oh, yeah, but right. Mary Jane didn't rob banks, so like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, that, that was, children. That that was a good moment uh, in a uh, '87 where it's like, oh, what's our uh, exercise for tonight? Oh, we just robbed this bank. So, uh, who, who did you just put that thumb up? <laughs> I thought you because you pointed no, to yeah, it when it happened. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, he's a god. <laughs> I don't think that's up for YouTube or anything, but yeah, Sean did a thumbs up Zoom notification. I didn't touch it. This is the iPad. I haven't touched you it. You literally just pointed right at it. <laughs> yeah, it literally, but, like, you were like, but okay, no, that weird. called back to Hawkeye Freefall. The funniest moment, like, we talk about it says you are about to raise your hand. Hold on. Are we doing You're about to, it's circling. It's cir Sean's panicking. <laughs> oh my, what? You Why just did switch shift all the. <laughs> Yeah, you switch positions and everything. What the fuck? Wow. Okay. So this um, is what it feels You cannot like. move a video while someone has raised their hand. What? Is this like a speaking thing for Zoom? Wait, can I do it? <laughs> JD did it. What the fuck? What the fuck? We're learning hey, about Zoom, hey, guys. Hey. Wait, so if you do that, uh, it happens? I don't know what this is not a podcast anymore. No, I clicked I clicked the button, jackass. Nick Wild. <laughs> this is absolute chaos. Come oh, to people me on Spotify right now are just wedding. like All right. crying Harper, in their teeth. Harper, Wait, Hunter. so if I if Wait, I raise up. my hand, will something happen? No. No. But no. anyway. Oh my but... god, that's crazy. <laughs> no way. Woody Harrelson? Hate. Just because I raised my head, that's boring. Wow, well, uh, he look he actually looks like Cletus Cassidy. He should be cast as <laughs> no, but one one of the funny moments of the issue, we, like we talk about Starfire and how like poorly written she's in like New 52 because of all the sexist nonsense in there. But there's mm. a moment in Mary Jane Black Cat where Peter is like coming to from after being knocked out in the hospital. And he yeah. just sees Mary Jane and Black Cat in two cat suits and like, hey, hey, how's it going? And Peter just like in a like daze just goes, oh, it's this dream again. Okay. <laughs> That's, that, just... that, is, that is literally James Bond, isn't it? What's your name? Pussy Galore. I must be dreaming. <laughs> but the both of them are just, they're like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> I kind of like it was that. a good okay. issue. I liked it. It, it called back to Paul. Paul Did you relate Paul. to it because you've also had that dream? <laughs> no, I haven't had that dream. But no, like it, it called back to Hawkeye Freefall. It was it was an entertaining issue. I liked it. Jed McKay writes good stuff. Mm, are you sure you didn't have that dream, yes. Sean? <laughs> I mean, I might have and forgotten it. I'm okay, Sean. <laughs> first thing that comes to your mind when I show you this, okay? 
<laughs> Fuck Harper. <laughs> okay. Okay. Se- second image. First thing that what, comes to wait, your mind. Wait. Yep. <laughs> Sexy Eminem. Oh my god! Yeah, can I we can't talk believe... about that? I can't believe, I can't believe they believe changed there's controversy it. over fucking Eminem's. Eminem Dude, pe- people are upset that Eminem's aren't fuckable anymore. <laughs> uh, so yeah, are we were. doing the debate? Yep. Are we doing them? I've got. I've got a good question. I think it'll be good. All right. And maybe okay. we just pick two people that are best suited for it. I got a okay question. Okay. I've got... Okay. Just who, for who, those who, who don't know, who, uh, one of us is going to ask a question, and then two people are going to debate over it. They got to choose for or against before hearing the question, so although they'll be debating like one side, it might not be their opinion. They just got to convince the other person. So how about this? This is it. A- we should we should specify too. This is mini debate. Like this is a little baby debate. This isn't a full debate episode. It's just a little oh, just a little oh, taste a little morsel question. of debate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I've only got clarification. So we'll do we'll do a proper we'll do a proper episode somewhere like down the line again. But this is just mm-hmm. a little little baby one. If you're so, driving, you're driving down in your grandma's house. We get in the Idaho, fucking point. You're driving <laughs> and you're like, oh boy, I just wish I had more podcasts to listen to. This is a podcast for you. <laughs> They've already turned it off by now. <laughs> they turned it off when I was talking about Doctor Strange. They, they turned it off 40 minutes ago when you and Hunter had a couple's argument read from Iron Man by Christopher Cantwell. <laughs> That's when I turned it off. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did you do? <laughs> I feel like it's the worst thing ever, Sean. <laughs> Were you just reading Iron Man 16? Yes. It broke my or... heart to put that tumor in her head. <laughs> oh, my what? God. <laughs> Um, so uh, I was thinking, so like, Canwell's Iron Man isn't improving to you guys. It, it improved on the last page. It became the greatest thing ever on the last page. Doctor Doom. What happened on the last page? I haven't gotten to yet. Doctor, Doctor Doom. Doom's coming back, baby. He's so out. if Harper asked the question, JD and I will debate. Maybe Sean and Harper both debate on the winner. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Just pick two people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Harper asked what your question. What is this? Apples to or apples. Who, who okay. do you want? Who do you want to go up against each other? Well, one of these I think will be JD and Hunter. One of them I think will be JD and Sean. So I'm going to say... Why don't you say the topic and we volunteer like, oh yeah. I no, because no, then you'll then I'll be like, are you for or against? Hey, you for, it, for the JD and I, I'll go for. I'll be against. Okay. Is, are you okay with that, JD? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so JD is for this. No, <laughs> you no. Poor son of a... No, no, no I'm, I'm for this. Oh, sorry, what? Oh, this was going to be between Sean and JD. I oh, okay, yeah, you could do that one first. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. JD, what do you cool. want to be? Uh, against. You want to be? Yeah, for. Good oh, Okay. <laughs> JD is against. Sean is for. Crisis on Infinite Earths is the best comic book event. Oh, yes! Starting with Sean. We've got... <laughs> You've got one. We're going to do it the way people suggested. One minute on the clock and then a 30-second rebuttal, all right? How's that sound? Good? Fine. <laughs> are, are, you, uh, are you timing it, Harper? How, and how much go. How much time? Okay, so <laughs> I start first? Yeah. Go, go. All right, so Crisis on Infinite Earths is the best event simply because it proved that events were possible. It's the event of events. It was DC Comics' 50th anniversary it was a 12 issue and it introduced so many iconic moments that are still known to this day. We have the death of Supergirl, the death of Barry Allen, JD's favorite, Wally West becoming the Flash. It's Time. all those moments together. That was a I'm minute. You, you've got 30 seconds. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> fucking crocodile Dundee over here fucking me over. <laughs> Keep going, Sean. Um, I lost my train of thought. It's, it's awesome. okay. I'm giving him extra time because I fucked him over. <laughs> this is our goodness. <laughs> uh, really you know what? For that, maybe I'll just make it so JD gets 30 seconds. <laughs> Sean yeah. did have good points. JD, you rebuttal. Uh, three words. It's fucking boring. <laughs> have you actually read the event? I mean, look at all those speech bubbles that are on that page. <laughs> My God, you buried the George Perez art, a like beautiful art underneath like 5,000 speech bubbles of Marv Wolfman's 80s dialogue. Christ almighty. <laughs> it, is, it, is like, it is like running a marathon reading 12 issues of that. I mean, it is like impossible to read. It has great things that happen in it, but you don't need to actually read the event. You just need to know what happens. So yeah, it's boring. 
both are re- both of you guys have great points. this is actually a good point like, like sean i'm on- shocked about the facts you like dc's 50th yeah. anniversary sean presented a good point while also being interrupted <laughs> it has psycho pirate in it, it has psycho pirate. God damn it. all right sean your second yep go all right so i mean if we're also going to talk about like you want to say it's boring let's look at all of dc comics events shall we what are you gonna say? <laughs> it's better than fucking death metal. There's the thumbs up, buddy. <laughs> you know, here's the deal. All comic book events are boring, but at least with Crisis on Infinite Earths, it had so many iconic moments that it actually made itself the best comic book event for DC because the rest of them are just repetitive bullshit. It resets the universe and then we reboot. That's what it is. But at least Crisis was original with it. Time. Um, yeah. I mean, Good luck, fun. JD. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, JD. <laughs> Try reading it. <laughs> the focus. We can't. Your resolution. There is so-, so many words on here. I, I mean, if you read this, if someone was like, "Oh, I want to get into DC Comics," oh, read Christ on Infinite Earths. No, you would never fucking read it. You never have to read it, and you could be a DC fan. And it spawned the CW Crisis on Infinite Earths. <laughs> That's a sort of own. Okay? Stephen Amell becomes the Spectre? I don't just him with every cell in my body. I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's time. Holy shit. Do I get another rebuttal? Because I have such a good point. No. Um, I have oh. to give that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. That's it. I have to give it to JD for the CW. <laughs> I Sorry. I would put my vote on Sean. I, I think Sean had the better argument, but when JD <laughs> brought up that it gave us the CW, I'm like, man, if I could go back in time and erase Crisis on Infinite Earths so that we never got the CW, I would be very happy. See, see my <laughs> counter Although, argument. Sean, for- the one what? thing that I didn't agree with was when you said all comic book events are boring. All DC comic book events are boring. He I said all DC. Well, I, I said DC. No, he said, said no. He, you he said, said all DC. I specified DC comics. Play it back. Yeah. Uh, Black is night. Uh, <laughs> Black is night. But I'm the, yeah, Black is night. Dark, Dark Flashpoint. <laughs> yeah. Flashpoint. But see, here's the thing. My argument against the CW thing, if I got another one, would be like, uh, Flashpoint also led to a CW nonsense storyline. That's true. Three Last episodes. Season three. CW yeah. just kind of ruined everything it touched. The rival. Yeah, that's why they're trying to sell it. <laughs> The rival, oh my god, the rival, you're right. Just like a guy that, in a weird What, you, you didn't like that mask. betrayal? That you so didn't like that betrayal? Weird. And I have no rival! <laughs> oh, yeah. right. Hey, uh, Hunter, I'm going to give Hunter and JD mine so we can just get mine out of the way, all right? Okay. I guess, JD, uh, you for or against? Or Hunter. I'll, I'll let Hunter pick since I picked them last time. Well, you were against last time, so you go for this time, I'll go against. Okay, so Hunter, you are against. JD, you are for. (laughs) Wally West is the most influential Flash. (laughs) Go. Who's going first? JD, he's for. Who's against? Yeah, JD. JD is for Wally West being the most influential Flash. If you look at all Flash media today, I mean, it all goes back to those stories. I mean, you introduce the Speed Force, you introduce all the side characters in his run, minus Jay Garrick. I mean, everything that's relevant about the Flash today in comics or live action comes from the Wally West run. The Flash was nothing. They were going to literally kill him off in Christ on Infinite Earth and end the title because he was so boring and stale. Christ on Infinite Earth, dog shit, by the way. Uh, but <laughs> Wally West reinvented the Flash and the modern mythos that we know and love today. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, that was one second shy of time. Hunter. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, just waiting, I'm just waiting for you to say go. Go. Yeah, well, Wally West was important back then, but there's a reason Barry Allen was brought back. He, he was brought back for the title for, I guess, 10 years, 10, 11 years. Yeah, 11 years. And Wally West was just a background character, occasionally appearing in Titans after a six-year disappearance. <laughs> CW does Barry Allen's the main flash. The movies, Barry Allen's the main flash. Barry Allen is the main flash in most media today. Even in video games, I guess he's the main flash in Injustice and Justice 2. Even the upcoming Suicide Squad versus the Justice League, it's Barry Allen as the flash there. He's Time. the flash of people. Time. Whoa, wow. For a question that I for a question that I thought was just 
bullshit. All right, JD, I disagree go. with my own opinion, by the way. No, it's, it's <laughs> interesting that you would bring up that Barry Allen's the main character in all these things when they actually use the Wally West stories for Barry Allen, almost showing that he's like a, you know, lame, <laughs> lamer version of a better character. <laughs> And the best adaptation of The Flash was Wally West in Justice League, the animated series. So it's kind of interesting that you bring up that point. You know, they, they really can't bring Barry content. They got to steal it from Wally. They use Zoom. They use Savitar. They use everything from the Mark Wade run. It just shows how influential the run is. Almost like that was the time topic. Hunter, I hope that sucker punch felt real good. <laughs> sucker punch? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> and Hunter, go. Um, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> in the end, they decided to pick Barry Allen over Wally West. They could have done Wally West. I agree. They could have made a good movie with Wally West, but they decided it'd be better to do Barry Allen. He's the character people know. He's the character. He's the forensic scientist of Struck by Lightning. He didn't follow someone's footsteps. He is the Flash. He was struck by lightning and he chose what to do. Yeah, he got the name from Jake Derrick, but he's obviously completely different, but can't have Wally West without Barry Allen, but you can have Barry Allen without Wally West. <laughs> well, time. As God, a joke, was... I was going to get up was... and grab my Flash comics. <laughs> These are all Barry. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was way too close of a debate that it should have been. Like, that was a, <laughs> that was a slam dunk for who's the most... But when you went into, like, adaptations and you're talking about how, like, every adaptation is Barry Allen, I was like, shit, yeah, to the mainstream, like, public yeah. like barry allen is the most influential flash. like that is the flash to a lot they of have like, time but it doesn't even they bring use, up they literally use all the wally no stuff and but that's the thing and then jd's just like mm-hmm. yeah but they use all of like wally's attributes and stories and like and it's like oh god like, J- that is that might be the hardest <laughs> debate ever like i i disagree I, with my I, own I, opinion i was well, gonna bring up yeah <laughs> And yet it's the one of the best presented the entire oh, I fuck wish I had more me. time. It's also, don't, don't count it's also this. how you, it's oh, how sorry, you have on. to look at it. Who is most influential to the character of the Flash or yeah. influential to the world? Don't count mm. this, but I was about to bring up that in Young Justice, even though it focuses on Wally West, he never becomes the Flash and he dies and they don't bring him back. <laughs> well not yet okay but yeah uh, not everyone's saying not, not yet for like 10 Young years Justice, so is he back i go with jd because you just butchered your argument on that one is he back <laughs> no nah, he no he's, he's not back but he still had a heavy like no he's appeared in, in uh, he's appeared in illusions like that doesn't care yeah. okay but it's still i feel like i don't know that's fucking yeah. hard that's fun. i'm going jd okay i'll go hunter so because really split. <laughs> that, that argument that argument is so so good when hunters like this this that and that and jd's like yeah but they're not barry they're all inspired by wally because they are yeah but 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 at the end it it won't fucking matter to anyone in the public who's watching the flash with the question isn't influential to the public it was influential to the character i no, i just said the influential wally west is the most influential that could have gone Uh, either way that's why both of you are so right it's fucking hard what, what what like helped JD's point so much though on an episode of Inside of You with Michael Rosenbaum, Grant Gustin yeah, himself says yeah. that yeah, it's inspired that. by Wally more than like Barry in the comics. Yeah, I remember that. That was a good episode. But oh, still, yeah. like again, it's Barry Allen, man, and that's what the public knows. So if you were to ask, if you were to like survey people in public and went, who is the Flash? They would all go Barry Allen. Yeah. Therefore, I would say worldwide he's probably the most influential in terms of just being the most popular mm-hmm. even though wally is like that everything mark wade did with wally is like everything that barry is now built on like oh that's fucking hard that is a hard debate man can i get a uh, i got a topic can i get a harper versus sean <laughs> oh, <I love> <laughs> i'll be i'll be honest i'm not in the debate zone today so if, it, if it's a funny one I'm no, just Jones, make no shit. Jones. i didn't know I'm a gonna, debate I'm, was coming so <laughs> i'm gonna make shit up <laughs> sean we we, we kind of didn't know either. <laughs> huh? you didn't read fear itself to prep for this oh fuck you, oh, to, I, you know i should have covered i should have covered fear itself I'll cover your basis i i i, oh, I only i only read all of future state again to prepare <laughs> <laughs> I went back and read Dark Detective three times. Okay, Sean, are you for or against? You can choose. Yeah, who's for or against? Uh, last time I was for, this time I'll be against. Okay, so I'm for, great. What is this? There's too much live action comic book content. 
starts with four. God. <laughs> no one has an opinion on this. <laughs> you oh, see, okay. the thing about the CW. <laughs> <laughs> Is, Jay, do you got a timer? Yeah, it's 30 seconds, right? Yep. All right, ready, set, go. Oh, fuck me. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the thing with the sheer amount of comic book like adaptation content that we get is just that it's so much to wade through. I mean, we as fans feel like this ownership over these characters and we feel like we've kind of got to keep up with everything. But I'll be fucked if I'm going to sit there and fucking watch Eternals for more than 20 minutes. The, 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 the sheer fucking volume of content is just too much to get through. And I think we're kind of at a model now where the bigger corporations are going let's just shove out as much quantity as we can and not really focus on the quality of the media we're actually putting out time i don't agree with any of that (laughs) (laughs) go on your rebuttal ready set go i'll say that there is not too much content because we are living in an overabundance of content but that's not a bad thing that's a good thing because you're not going to like everything you like like harper brought up eternals you're not going to like Eternals, but because there's so much content to choose from. I love from, the Eternals. It, <laughs> because there's so much content to choose from, it doesn't matter. If you don't yeah. like Eternals, go and watch something else. There's plenty yep. of Disney Plus series. There's all kinds of things to choose from. Even Titans is has a fan base. It's amazing, Fine. but it happens. <laughs> Sean, it's so funny. As soon as he said the topic, and I was like, for the fact that there's too much of it. I was like, yeah, but the fact that there's so much of it means you can just kind of pick and choose what you want to watch. And that's exactly what I do. <laughs> I, I, what is it? What is it? Uh, there's too much of it. All right. Are you rebutting right now? Or are we just, yeah, yeah, it, no, it, no, no, no. I'm just, off. I'm just sort of discussing it. You're helping, <laughs> you're I don't, I don't think I've here. got anything left. Ready? <laughs> is that go? Yes. But Sean, the way I look at it is, um, if, if we didn't have so much superhero content, uh, we wouldn't have gotten, as you say, Titans. <clears throat> and I think if, if we came together as a one nation and one world and we decided, hey, let's focus on quality instead of quantity, we may not have gotten the worst atrocity to happen to humankind, uh, which is Titans. And I rest my case. <laughs> 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 now it's a trice of this. You can't argue, Sean. You can't argue that Titans has killed more people than most wars. You can't argue that. <laughs> That's just you a fact, argue. man. That's just a fact. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, it's not even an opinion. <laughs> Sean, your final rebuttal. Ready, set, my, go. My final rebuttal somehow this is centered around Titans. <laughs> <laughs> the with, see, the thing is, my point with Titans is that. Like, there's so much content, something... Why the fuck does it keep doing the thumbs up? <laughs> but there, there's so much There's so much content that it can allow something shitty like Titans to exist, and it still has a fan base. And you don't have to watch Titans because you can watch Doom Patrol instead, or you could yes, go to a different show. it's killed millions. <laughs> <laughs> it gave us a live-action Red Hood, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, Sean, Sean wins. Sean wins. Sean wins. Yeah, he brought it back. Sean, <laughs> Sean wins just at the oh, very end. He clutched a little clutch. Oh um, my God. <laughs> I have one question. You get you guys decide who's against who. Red Hood adaptation. <laughs> the Where fact that you brought that back to be cops. about Red Hood. We're, we're, we're so. Oh, for fuck's sake, this fucking. Gym. Someone decide for, do. someone decide against. Oh, who's who's arguing? I'm asking a question. You guys can decide who argues. Oh, okay. I am the watcher. That was me versus Sean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Harbor, me and you haven't gone at it yet. I already went out of it. Oh, okay. JD and I. Okay, JD and I. You guys can decide four and guess. Uh, I'll go four again. All right, I'm <laughs> against. The DCEU is better than DC Comics. <laughs> Oh, are you fucking kidding me? There is no argument there. We can't. What do you want me to do? What am I supposed to fucking say? There's nothing to say. Are you Harper's Are you fucking kidding me? If you want me, you want me, me of all people, to argue that the DC fucking EU, the DC EU is barely better than the CW. What do you want me to fuck up? That was a uh, that was improv. That wasn't even my question. I just wanted to ask that. But Harper, I think we Harper do it. is literally 
I, oh, actually, no, that actually might might lead to some Harper? problems. I, I, I was going to say Harper should just lay down in a ditch now, but like in his country, <laughs> he might actually die. Oh, man. <laughs> so okay, if, if you want, I could do come. a different question. I could do a different question. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do that question because it's funny. <laughs> okay. I had another question. Just in case. Okay, you ready? Harper, yeah. three, two, one. See, when I look at the DCEU, I think of vision. I think the vision of a man and a corporation that wants to show us something special, not a comic book company that is just shitting out random issues where you don't feel anything. Because when I sit down and I watch the DCEU, I feel the passion. I feel the filmmaking and I feel the care that is put behind it by one man and one man's influence. And you cannot sit there and tell me that DC Comics has that same passion and same influence that Zack Snyder has. (laughs) You were running for office on that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> GD, three, two, one, go. <laughs> this is J. Jonah Jameson laughing. <laughs> you serious? Batman kills. Flash is a fucking joke. Cyborg <laughs> doesn't even really exist if we're going by the canon movie. I mean, Snyder verse, Snyder version doesn't even count. Uh, Superman, I mean, like, there's so many things that are, you know, wrong with that adaptation. There's just this whole universe doesn't even really make sense. Joker has a tattoo that says damage Time. on his forehead. <laughs> it's a terrible universe. Time. There's nothing okay. safe. Honestly, right now, I agree with JD. Harper, you're right. <laughs> Harper, three, two, one, go. See, you may, you may argue for the comics, but I say there is only one universe that has highlighted racism and prejudice within our filmmaking industry. The DCEU allowed us to highlight individuals that have abused their power in the filmmaking industry and brought them to accountability. The DCEU is more than just films. It's a movement. It's a cultural awakening. <laughs> and we are living in the middle of it. <laughs> time. You have two more seconds, but yeah, time. Hey, what am I going to do in two seconds? You're going to give me four hours. I wouldn't have had anything. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. If the DCEU is a movement, it must be the movement of me out of the theater because that movie was fucking <laughs> dog shit. All right. Justice League starts with like Superman with like the mustache. If, if your universe relies on a man shaving his mustache or not shaving his mustache, you got pretty big problems. I mean, they really can't decide what they want to do with these characters and trying to decide what's canon and what's not canon. It's just, it's not good okay i just straight up didn't like it so <laughs> all right yeah i i gotta give it to jd harper you're a little too political <laughs> i was i was waiting for one of you guys on the rebuttal to go you want to fight <laughs> yeah i was, I was waiting for that trying to come up with, go, I just trying to come up with like the biggest joke i could and that it's the the dceu is more than movies it's a movement <laughs> Oh, that was it's a funny. religion. I mean, like, you did have hashtag funny. release the Snyder Cut. It was a movement. Yeah, it, technically, yeah. <laughs> technically, it was. I do have a legitimate, decent question. I thought JD was going to say, yeah, it's a movement, a bowel movement. And I was going to be like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, what's do you, your legitimate Do you want a legitimate one? You guys can decide who does it. Oh. um, If you guys want, right. it could be JD versus Harper again. or Yeah, let's do me versus Harper again. Okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step away for a sec. Bye, I'm gonna, at, at, my, at my own peril i'm gonna say that i'm for whatever this is again <laughs> okay this, this is like a legitimate question okay i guess i'm against interesting okay so if harper is four yeah marvel comics are better than dc comics Ooh. and jd you are saying that dc comics are better okay you ready I, oh yeah <laughs> you guys both went ooh. Three, two, one, go. Well, to bring up a friend of ours, Tyler, and we spoke about this recently, he said I, that I, DC <laughs> may have the higher highs in terms of just miniseries. But when you look at consistency of work and a universe feeling like it actually fucking matters, that is Marvel <laughs> Comics all over. I'm sorry, but DC for the last two decades, I couldn't even fucking tell you what's canon and what's not because the universe is such a mess and they keep rebooting it and keep starting with issue ones just to try and, fucking create sales and relying on Batman that nothing feels cohesive and nothing feels like it matters. Going back to number ones, that's a... Do you know the news of the week? (laughs) Yeah, that's a good point. JD, three, two, one. Watchmen and Kingdom Come. Show me Marvel's version of that. Oh, wait, you can't. 
listen, Marvel might have consistently good storytelling, but there are no high highs like DC Comics has hit. And if you ask people in the world, not just in America or not just in these like countries that, you know, get Marvel movies, who are the, you know, the three biggest superheroes of all time, they will always tell you Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man. The influence of Batman and Superman goes worldwide. Time. That was good. Okay. Harper, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. You want to bring up the higher highs, JD, and that's great for DC fans if they want to read the same four books for the rest of their life until they fucking die. Whereas Marvel, you can read a great variety of books and not have to spin your wheels in one fucking place. And also, you want something that's as good as Watchmen or New Frontier or Kingdom Come? Let me list. Secret Wars. Secret Wars 2. Secret War. Secret Wars. Marvel has such a variety of brilliant (laughs) events and stories that you cannot Um, possibly comprehend (laughs) I, I just walked in on Secret Wars. I know. Because I thought I had a good oh argument, but then I was like, this is way too funny of a joke to pass up. It's just <laughs> listing all the Secret Wars. Yeah, there are four, technically. Okay, well, JD, anyway. three, two, one. Go. I mean, how many comics were actually were? saved by DC Comics in the 1950s because superhero comics were popular, like Secret Captain Wars. America in the 40s. And then they died they after by Secret Wars. Wars. <laughs> After, they died after World War II, and the only thing that kept them alive through the 50s were Batman and Superman. So if it weren't for DC Comics, comic books probably wouldn't even be around today. So DC Comics just has that influence, making them the superior company when it comes to comic book making. Wait, 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 wait. Did Mr. Sorry. Detective Comics die in World War II? I didn't even know he fought in the war. <laughs> okay, so... You guys both have good points. Harper, honestly, your Secret Wars joke was really funny, but a really... Kind of... I know. Yeah, I, didn't just do it. I, I, I didn't care. I was like, you it's had good way points too funny. Because to the idea that like there's all these different variety of books, and then I'm like, yeah, but what about four different Secret Wars? <laughs> Yeah, if you were like King and Black, uh, this, that, thank you. Yeah, yeah no, I, I was kind of going for the win for about a round and a half. <laughs> also, also, just say, JD, you can't shudder at King and Black because you still haven't read Donny That Kate's being back. said, JD, <laughs> you weren't really defending DC Comics. You were just saying Batman and Superman are more well known. That was most of your argument there. And also that they I mean, have high highs. Um, Hunter, that was your argument about Barry Allen versus Wally West. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> I will, I will, I will give it to JD though, because Harper, you took ah, you fucking wimp, you fucking pussy. <laughs> you, you really demolished yourself there. <laughs> but Secret Wars. <laughs> yeah, but th- this was a money match, so. Yeah, yeah but he wasn't. <laughs> at least mine was on topic. He was just talking about Superman and Batman being popular. You were, you were winning. You know what's more? No, you know what's more popular than Batman or Superman? Secret Wars. <laughs> Secret Wars. <laughs> Have you read Secret Wars 2? Has anyone here read Secret Wars 2? I, uh, no, it's the only one that I've had no experience. That's the with. only one I've never it's read like before. the only one. <laughs> I hear it's not good. This is not good. I, I, Secret I got, Wars or I, Civil I, War 2? Secret Wars Secret 2. Wars two. Wars <laughs> dark shit. I got a, I got a debate <laughs> topic, but uh, who wants to do it? Sorry. Uh, Sean? What? Can, can, can you please let this in because I'm tired of using my pad? <laughs> Sean Is he just connecting another device. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? <laughs> it, it was bad enough when Sean joined the show and my now he's fucking this two of you. It's so him. slow when you boot it up that, like, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> okay, okay, JD, is, is there are variants. Who, who wants to take place in the debate? I mean, Hunter's going to be one of them, but who's going okay. to get Hunter? <sighs> If the debate's about Secret Wars, I would love to. Make it Sean versus Sean. Oh, no, it's awful. <laughs> I hate it. Why does he have a Spider-Man sex doll in the background? What the fuck? What the fuck, Sean? What the fuck? Bro, that's weird. <laughs> Why is he, like, ready? I don't like that at all. <laughs> hey, Spider-Man. <laughs> the, next, the next debate is about Time Spider-Man. Time to renew no. your vows. Okay, I'll, I'll be for it. I'll be for it. <laughs> You're for? Yeah. All right, who's against? I don't know. Is it anything I'll be any, like, I'll know anything about? <laughs> or should we Sean? Whoever wants to take it. Sean, you want to take it or me? Rock, What's paper, happening? Scissors. I got distracted by your Spider-Man. Debate, debate. Solver. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, send, shoot. Like this works with lag. Send? What? 
I don't <laughs> fucking know. Harper, you win. Rock, paper, scissors. Do you, do, do you know what I did? I just waited. I was just waiting for him to do it so that I could beat him and then go, oh, sorry, there was a delay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So am I debating right now? You know right. what? No, I've got no, I've got the perfect idea. I'll open. Sean, you closed. Oh. Tag team. Okay, yeah, tag, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, who's for? Who's against? I'm for. Okay. Okay, we're against. And your I'll, side, I'll go... Hunter, Hunter. Your side is that Spider-Man should only be a solo character, while <laughs> Harper and Sean, your side is Spider-Man. Spider-Man should be a legacy multiverse character. Ready, set. Go, Hunter. He's street level. He's from New York. You know, he grew up in Queens. He's the kid that put on the suit, and now he's a hero. He's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Why is he going to space? I understand when there's, like, a huge cosmic event that every hero suits up, but Spider-Man shouldn't be the guy who's constantly being called from the Avengers. He already struggles on his own being in New York and dealing with school life or work life. Mary Jane or Gwen Stacy, whoever he's with, and being Spider-Man. Spider-Man always gets in the way. So how is it going to get in the way when he's just constantly overseas or in another universe? Time. What's the debate? <laughs> I think Hunter may have misunderstood. Spider-Man is a solo character is his side. Like solo character, just like kind of just the Spider-Man mythos of him. Versus yeah. Spider-Man is like a legacy multiverse character like Miles and all that shit. Oh, I thought you meant like a teen character. Yeah. I, I think his argument still suits that. Yeah. I mean, it, it still so matters. is he, so he's against then, right? He's against no, being a multiverse no, he, character? He, yeah, he, yes, yeah, yes. I mean, he's for the side that Spider-Man's a solo I character. thought he meant like an Avenger, but it's- I'll, I I'll did, I did too, but that like, we can still, yeah. Yeah. Do you want, do you want to redo your 30 seconds with now, now understand? Okay. No, that's no. Okay. I think it worked pretty well. Look, yeah, look, JD, works. his competition is me and Sean. I'm a fuckwit and Sean's dumb. So, like, <laughs> I think I've read more Spider Man comics between oh, fuck yourself. Them. Yes. All right. <laughs> All, All right. Who's going first, Harper or Sean? Rock Harper's Rangers. first. <laughs> All right, Harper. Ready? Set? Go. Well, see, the thing about Spider Man is I kind of think of the balance, right? The balance between Spider Man and Peter Parker. And I think you kind of need that in his stories. It's great to have these sort of street level stories where it's Peter Parker facing his personal inner demons, but it's also great to like have him interact with Miles and go into the Spider Verse and have these sort of big events where, you know, it's not just about Peter Parker, the man, but it's about Spider-Man, the legacy, Spider-Man, the identity and how that spreads out to the universe. And that, but really, that was 30 seconds. Suck my dick, JD. <laughs> As a reminder, I'm the one that judges this. So saying suck my dick to the uh, judge is probably Yeah, not yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sean, you got to save it. Don't threaten him. Oh, right, Hunter, Hunter rebuts and then I go. All right, Harper, yeah, I know. Ready, set, go. He he doesn't really need the multiverse and everything. Like I don't like the idea Spider Man was chosen for this. He he's he's more relatable when he's just a guy that it was an accident that happened and now he's just being that regular hero that walks, that goes out and saves people and stops crime. You know he, he has real world struggles. He shouldn't be thrown thrown through other dimensions and everything. <laughs> God damn it, Harper. <laughs> Spider Man, Spider Man, radio. He's Spider-Man. less relatable when he's a multiverse character. I hate that theme song, by the way, from the 94 anime. I love it. I think it's so stupid. Oh, it's so it. good. Oh, so dude, it's all grunge. nostalgia for me, man. It's so 90s grunge. Radioactive. Active. Oh, I hate it. All right, Harper, shut the fuck up. My turn to rebut. Yes. Ready? Set. I didn't like the way you were groping that doll, by the way. That's really <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Ready? Set. <laughs> Go. Oh, you muted. <laughs> I get I get to start from wherever. Jay, yeah, restart sorry. that clock. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's <laughs> good. I thought it'd be funny. I thought it'd be funny. Yeah. Go. Punter, I took my headphones off because I didn't need to hear a single thing you said. This guy by himself is boring. All right. <laughs> Here's the deal, all right? You want to talk Peter Parker is better on his own? Let's look at Spider-Man No Way Home, where he's with other Peter Parkers. It's a multiversal movie that was literally like a 10 out of 10 last year. And you want to talk he's boring on his own? Look at Into the Spider-Verse, goddammit. It won an Oscar for having multiple spider people. And it was animated, you dumb motherfucker. Wait, 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 wait. I 
take everything bad I've ever said about Sean back. Holy shit. <laughs> When he tossed the doll, I lost it, bro. I, I I was I was kind of fucking around on the first one, but I think like that ended up being a cohesive battle. Sean, why were you angry? Yeah, <laughs> I've had a lot of rage. No one says weeks. that Spider Man should be a solo character. Like, <laughs> Jameson over here over a debate about Spider Man on a podcast. <laughs> you know, Spider Man was a hero. I just couldn't see it. He was a a thief. A menace. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> and and that, that's a hero story. That's a hero story. My computer is literally at 2%, so we better wrap this up. Okay. Oh um, you come to be the other nurse on the day my oh, daughter is Nick Wild. Nick Wild. Like, <laughs> JD, you oh, want to say anything? Um. Thanks for watching. Just the recording back. has stopped. There's, there's literally no one still watching at this point. I wouldn't still be watching. <laughs> Sean, you want to give a little secret? You want to read? Secret war. The Dude, thing that we were talking recording. about? What were you guys talking about? Secret war? Well, you know.